Hey everyone, welcome to the Automata Project. This is day four, and we are going to be creating our cams today. So there are four cams we're going to create, an eccentric cam, a pear cam, a snail cam, and a hexagon cam. All of them are pretty straightforward, so I'm just going to walk you through that process and just kind of pause the video and work with me as I go. So let's go ahead and get started. I'd like you to open up Autodesk Inventor and start a new part file. So I'll just go ahead, start a new standard.ipt part file and start a new 2D sketch on your XY plane. So I'll click on that. And let's start with the eccentric cam. For all of these cams, I want you to make sure that the center of the cam is also the center of your XY coordinate system over here. So we're gonna start with a circle of let's say two inches. So I'm gonna type in two and press enter. And then I'm going to draw a smaller circle. And this is gonna depend on your project or where this hole's gonna need to go through. But for my class, my project, we are using quarter inch dowel rods. So this hole here has to be larger than a quarter inch, 0.25, in order to fit through the dowel rod after it's 3D printed. So we're gonna say 0.27 inches, enter. And that's gonna generate that cam over there. Now we also kind of want to distance it from the edge or the, the center. So I'm gonna go to dimension and click on the center. And then the center of the circle, I'm gonna move out with that dimension and I'm gonna set this to half an inch. So 0.5, enter. So now, if this cam was on a dowel rod spinning on this circle, it would move lopsided, like up and down, kind of lopsided. So that's all I need. Finish sketch, and then we're gonna extrude this one out. Click on that, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So 3 sixteenths, like so. If you want a thicker cam, go ahead and do so, but 3 sixteenths should be uh, fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit finish, and there we go. That is the eccentric cam. Go ahead, save that, and we're gonna move right on to the next one. The next cam is the pair cam. I'm gonna go ahead, start a new file, standard.ipt, start 2D sketch, and select the XY plane again. And we're gonna start with a large circle from the center, that's gonna be two inches, so I'm gonna type in two, enter. I'm going to draw a line going up from the center, 1.5 inches. It's gonna be a vertical line, enter. And then I'm gonna draw another circle at the end of that line that's gonna be one inch, enter. So it's gonna look something like that. I'll use the line tool and draw a line over there, like so. And then another line over here, like so. And it doesn't really matter the dimensions of these lines, I'm just using them to essentially snap them onto these circles. So I'm gonna press escape twice and use this tool over here. This is called the tangent tool. And what it does is it puts a line on a circle. So you could kind of see what we're gonna do with this. I'm gonna click on the line, then I'm gonna click on the circle. And it made those two tangent. I'm gonna do the same with the bottom of that line and the bottom circle. And now these two are tangent. Then I'll repeat it with the other side And everything's in place now. We just need to trim off what's not necessary to create the, tr the uh, pair cam. So I'll go to trim, select that, and just click on the portions, like those top and bottom portions. And you'll start seeing it start to form here. Oh, and if you see this error, that just means there's a dimension on it that shouldn't be there or needs to get removed temporarily. So I'll delete that one because I believe it was part of that, and then it should work out again. Okay, so this here is the pair cam. I'm gonna add in my circle at the end. So remember, mine is going on quarter inch dowel rods. So I'm making mine 0.27, enter, but yours should be what they need to be for your project, okay? And if you don't want this line here anymore, you could select it and press the delete key on the keyboard to remove it. So this here is a pair cam. I'm gonna finish the sketch and extrude it out 3 sixteenths of an inch. 
press OK. OK, go ahead and save this one, and we're going to move on to the hexagon cam next. OK, hopefully you saved. Hexagon cam, let's go ahead, new file, standard.ipt, start a 2D sketch on the XY plane, and then for the hexagon shape, just go to the rectangle tool, that arrow, and scroll down to the polygon tool down here. Click on it. By default, it's on six sides. So I'm just going to click at the center, and I'm going to roll out like so, and click anywhere, and I'll press done. And then I'm going to dimension it from side to side, like so. And I'm going to make that two inches. So I'll type in two, enter. And then at the center, I'm going to use the circle. And once again, set this to a quarter inch, or 0.27, like so. Finish my sketch, extrude, center portion, click on that, and then 3 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, save that one, and we're moving on to the final one, which is the snail cam. Okay, the snail cam is often considered the most difficult one but it's really not that bad once you know how to make it. So start a new sketch on the XY plane, and we're going to start with two circles. The first circle is going to be one inch, and then I'm going to make another circle concentric that's going to be two inches. So it shares the same center and looks like that. Then I'm going to go underneath the line tool to the second spline option not the first one, the second one, the interpolation one, and select that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is kind of unwind from the smaller circle up to the large circle. So I'm going to start at the very top of the small circle and click there once with the spline tool. And now if this is an entire unit, I'm going to go a quarter of the way and click there once at 90 degrees. I'm going to go to a halfway for the bottom three-fourths of the way after 270 degrees and then the full way so I've reached the top of the circle by the end. I'll click there and then I'm going to press the check mark to save that. Now just like we did for the pair cam I'm going to use the tangent tool select that to make this line tangent with the big circle and then this line tangent with the small circle. Okay so if you look at the shape We've generated what is known as a, sorry, a little sick, what is known as a snail cap. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the line in place from here to there. Okay. And I'm going to trim off the large circle, but if it doesn't let you, I'll just select it and press the delete key on the keyboard, and then I'll do the same with the smaller circle. At the middle, I'm going to go ahead and put in my opening of 0.27, enter, and right now we have a snail cam. So finish that up, extrude it, and set it to 3 sixteenths of an inch. There we go. Our snail cam, hexagon cam, pear cab, and eccentric cab all taken care of in under 10 minutes. Okay, hopefully you found these videos useful, and if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on day five. Peace.